and welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 29th of September 2023. As we move into the last trading day of September, and many people will be glad to see the back of it. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here, leading you around what's happening in news today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Generally positive session in the US, gains across all the major indices. We saw advances beat decliners. And this was despite US GDP being slightly weaker. Jobs and the Q on QPCE data did no harm, coming in around about expectations. There is big data this evening out of the US, though, and that year on year PCE data is a significant market mover. US futures are near neutral in Asian trading today. We did start a little lower, but we seem to have found a nice range just slightly to the upside that NASDAQ slightly outperforming. Asian markets generally cautiously positive, only the Nikkei and the red. And the ASX is registering small gains up around 0.5% today, materials significantly outperforming. European futures again have moved up slightly, now pointed to a mildly positive open, and the VIX bounced downwards off that 200 MA to have its second successive day to the downside, suggesting just a little bit of market calming at this stage. We saw a drop in the US dollar index from those 10 month highs, which is again slightly lower in Asia. But despite that, we saw gold sell off at the early part of the US session. It breached 1900 the day before yesterday and continued that yesterday. And we are seeing some buying today in Asia. Perhaps markets feeling that this could be a little oversold, but obviously there's going to be significant moves in commodities due to the US PCE data later. Copper did bounce significantly off support to hit highs of the week yesterday. Some continuation in buying in Asia. And we did also see oil pull back from one year highs. Bitcoin price stay within the range after bouncing off that support at 26,000 is actually looking fairly positive in Asia as well at this stage. As we've already said, the year on year PCE is the data headline today. We've already had slightly lower than expected Japanese CPI, which made the yen weak. We've got UK GDP, German jobs and retail sales, Eurozone CPI and US consumer sentiment also due today. So quite a busy day for markets to digest. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that's called and right today. Uh, we were looking at the Kiwi Yen. If we look at the hourly chart, you can see we had a little pause around this R2 pivot level at 89.59. Uh, but we appear to be looking relatively strong again, albeit in lower volume at this stage. This is not atypical in terms of this time of day. So Really, we might see this move further in the European session, but looks one that could move back up to test 90 during the course of the day. Uh, be aware that everything is going to change once that PCE data comes out. So be worthwhile bearing that in mind from a risk management point of view. Treasury wine estates are looking great on the ASX. They've breached the 200 MA now. It's about 35 to 4% possibly up to the next pause point. But we highlighted this earlier in the week. Uh, and now it's breached its 200 MA, suggests that buying pressure is in. Of course, it is the last day of the quarter, so we might get a little bit of a sell off as institutions reposition towards the back end of the session. But at this stage, 2WE looks like a good stock to keep an eye on. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.